Hey guys, I wanted to take just a single video to show kind of how to go from dark and dingy looking videos like this using OBS to record and to kind of get the, the nice final product that I output for my normal videos anyways, just because I've seen some pretty big YouTubers really not doing a lot with their video editing and I feel like people can do better. So first to brighten up the picture when you're using OBS, go into the filters menu um, for your display capture and add a new filter for the color key. And then just increase your gamma up to, I like to use about um, 45, but you can adjust it depending on the kind of content you're getting. So this is how it brightens up to about 40. This is 45 uh, gamma color. So I'll show the two side by side. So you can kind of see it just brightens up the whole picture and makes it, in my opinion, a lot better to look at, especially for CSGO. If you're going for like that dark kind of content, then maybe you do um, want to keep the gamma low. Like in Valorant, you could probably get away with it just because there's more contrast and it's a brighter looking game in general. Um, another thing to make sure you're doing is make sure you're running OBS in administrator mode because if you're not, your recordings are going to look choppy and laggy. So next, let's change the quality. And when you're recording, you always want to use the CQP or the constant quality preset. Um, you can set the quality preset to speed, quality, or balance, and we can go through those later. And for me, at a, when I record at 1440p, I find a good CQP number to be about 24. You would never use CBR when recording, like a constant bitrate. That's what you would use for streaming because that's, you're telling your computer always or never go above this bitrate for recording because when you're streaming, you're limited by your upload, right? But when you're just recording, you're not limited by your upload. So you can give your computer some freedom to adjust the bitrate to hit a constant quality target, which is CQP. So I set mine to about 24, which comes in around 50 megabits per second. And I'll go side by side with uh, CQP 20 here, which is 100 megabits per second. You can see there's not a lot of difference. You probably can't even tell the difference with it uploaded to YouTube actually. And I'll show a couple other numbers here. CQP 34 is 10 megabits and CQP 30 is 20 megabits per second. So, you know, if you're recording content for yourself, depending on your hard drive size or the length of the videos you're making, you can adjust um, to kind of get the file size target that you want. Another thing to adjust is this quality preset and it really doesn't, doesn't make a huge difference. I'll show them side by side here. In my opinion, they look pretty similar. And performance wise on a computer, like on my computer, I didn't notice much difference. I'm using my video card to record this. Maybe if you're using, maybe if you have a lower end video card, it'll, it'll uh, make a difference for you. And lastly, the downscale filter is what I'm going to go over. So Lan Lank Zoss or Lank Zoss is the highest quality filter. And then Bilinear is the lowest quality filter. This probably isn't going to impact me because I'm not rescaling my footage. Um, but if you're going from 1440p to 1080, um, then you may see benefits on using the faster filter, right? Or you may see higher quality by using Lang Sauce. Next, I'll show the, just the little touch-ups that I do in OBS. So what I do for OBS is I always sharpen it uh, just a little bit, like 0.1 sharpening in, in, uh, sorry, in uh, Sony Vegas. And then I'll always use an unsharp mask as well. And the unsharp mask settings are right there if you want to copy those or if you use sony vegas and you can see on the left is my sony vegas sharpened with my sharpening and my unsharp mask and then on the right is just stock obs so i feel like it gives it just the video a little bit more texture and uh gives it a little bit of extra sharpness but it doesn't look weird to look at for people that are really familiar with the game like csgo players would be um, you can sharpen up a little bit more and it can kind of give you a unique look if you're going for something artsy maybe um, But for everyday content or, or something I would never Mess around with too high levels in the sharpening and then last I'll just go over the my export settings for uh, for Vegas um, Basically right there you can see them all so I export at 1440p um, you can allow the source to adjust the frame rate, but you you just want to make sure all your frame rate is hitting 60 FPS and everything everything you're recording and exporting to is 60 FPS. Anyways, guys, I know this was really different from what I normally do, but I felt like uh, I had some stuff some stuff to share about it, and maybe I can help out a few people that actually record their game footage. 
Um, if you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down, and I'll catch you next time. Peace. Thank you.